Today we're out on a Nautitech 44 Open on Christchurch Bay. Now, this is a cruising catamaran and we fitted it with Cyclops load sensors. We're very used to seeing these on a racing yacht, but the question is, why fit them to a cruising catamaran? So the, on this boat, we have seven eighths uh, turn bodies. Um, and to install them, we remove the standard turn body and replace it with our load sense version. The turn bodies are specified on a thread um, and they're industry standard, so it's a straight swap. I guess being a former monohull sailor and being aware of loads on the rig by heeling angles, but coming to catamarans, you don't have that sensation anymore. So I had no idea what stresses the rig was under. But having that dial and that clock indicating when it's time to reef is a great reassurance. I guess it's like the rev counter on your car. You know, you, you know whether you're overpressing the engine when you've got too many revs, and this is the same, same thing. On a night watch, that's the most dangerous time. So it, when I go to my bunk, I know that I'm sailing without stress because I know that the rig's okay. Catamaran sailing, sailing by numbers and these are more numbers and it's great to know that you're within the parameters of the rig. So what we've seen here with a cruising catamaran is you're very much sailing by the numbers whereas on a cruising monohull you may have a bit more feel on the boat. The problem previously has been if you don't have a load sensor on the shroud you don't know what those numbers are and you don't know when you're going beyond the safety limits especially when you put up for example the code zero your loads can double very, very quickly when the wind speed has only gone up by five or so knots. I can see a point where this becomes industry standard, where load sensors are fitted to make sure that when sailors are on the water, they have that peace of mind. They know the numbers and they can sail safely.